Yeah, so the um, the times have been really close here at Donington, day one. Um, we've managed to finish P2 in FP1 and P1 in FP2 um, on the fastest time of the day. So really, really happy with that. You know, we've been working on a few things, a bit different to the test. We've, um, we've obviously... Donington was the first time on the bike, so it was the first time with the new bike, it was the first time developing, and it's pretty early days, you know. Then we went on to Navara test, Navara race, Alton test, Alton race. So we've done a lot of development since then with the bike and brought it on not only in in hot conditions but in cold conditions as well. So it's always interesting coming back to Donington after those, that, that sort of big... Um, big period and seeing what works and what don't we actually this morning something didn't work what we'd found working in Alton Park so that's a good a good thing we've learned a lot um and then we went back to sort of what we we had a little bit more towards in the in the test so um it was better so really happy in FP2 so um yeah it's just a bit of a day of just confirming what we've learned when we've been away uh, to see what it was like compared to what we had at the test and also the conditions were a bit cooler at the test um, here it's nice and warm, um, but to, for me, I prefer this this condition because it's harder on tyres, people struggle a bit more, um, and that seems to be where the bike comes into its own and where I come into my own a little bit more. So um, really feeling great on the bike, and we did our fastest lap on lap 13 and 14, so it's quite a long time into a tyre. We um, The tyre life around here at Donington with the new surface is a, is a big thing. Um, more so than what it ever had been. Uh, for a 20 lap race, it's quite crucial to save your tire and you need to need to be um, thoughtful of that throughout the race for the last five laps to be able to still do a good time. So we work quite hard on race pace and stuff and um, trying to make sure that our tire is still good and most consistent throughout the race. Um, and I think because the temperature actually looks pretty similar this whole weekend. So I think the conditions for today are going to be very similar to what they are Saturday and Sunday. So that helps the tyre technicians and stuff like that to make sure that the warmers and the pressures are all correct because that is a massive thing for tyres and tyre life. Um, so, yeah, really happy with how that's gone. And, um, yeah, we're, we've got some good tyre life, so really feeling feeling good on the bike. Doing the, set, uh, the, the long race on Saturday really gives us a lot of data to then improve the bike a lot for the Sunday afternoon race. Um, but I think, you know, Super Bowl doing one lap, we've got to get a good qualifying, and I think we will. I think we'll be, we'll be somewhere near. Um, but also, I think for the race, it's just going to be get settled. I'd like to get away a little bit in the front, get a few laps under my belt, sort of similar strategy what I've done all year. Um, and then just manage the tie. You know, if anyone comes past me, sit, see what they're doing. You know, it's weird because you spend this first day and I haven't seen anyone else on track. So it's um, it's really difficult to know where anyone else is strong. Obviously, we've raced here, so I know roughly where they, the certain bikes and certain riders are going to be strong and weak. Um, but that always does change slightly. So that first race is always a bit of a yeah, it's a bit of a um, a difficult one to actually know how strong people are going to be because you don't know. Um, from race one, race two and race three, you kind of know where you're going to be and how to manage the race better because you, you know exactly how the opposition's going to fare up.